As of 3 p.m. on Thursday, Taiwan had registered more than 300 aftershocks since a 7.2 earthquake struck Hualien on Wednesday morning. Though experts say the number of aftershocks is within expected levels, a seismologist from National Taiwan University's Department of Geosciences says there could be cause for concern for other reasons. He says the aftershocks could trigger movements in the Ryukyu Trench off the coast of Taiwan. He says the trench has the potential to cause a megathrust earthquake like the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake or the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. The 7.2 earthquake is the second biggest earthquake on record for more than 100 years. The biggest was the 1999 Gigi earthquake with a magnitude of 7.3. The quake on Wednesday was the second biggest ever recorded in Taiwan. It's second only to the 1999 Gigi earthquake, which had a magnitude of 7.3 and struck at a depth of just 8 kilometers. The largest intensity then was a 7. The Wednesday Tembler struck deeper, had a slightly lower magnitude and had a lower maximum intensity of 6 plus on Taiwan's seismic intensity scale. Still, it was a nightmare for locals. The aftershocks of the 1999 Gigi earthquake persisted for more than a year. More than 10,000 aftershocks were recorded. This time round, one day has passed and we have recorded more than 300 aftershocks. That figure is on the average. There's no need to worry about aftershocks. Chen Wenshan from the NTU Department of Geosciences says that the main quake has passed and that the aftershocks that have followed have mostly had magnitudes between 4 and 6. The expert says that the strength and frequency of the aftershocks are decreasing and that conditions should return to normal within a few months to half a year. There are, however, other concerns. The expert says that the Wednesday quake could activate faults in the central mountain range or the Ryukyu Trench, resulting in an even more powerful earthquake. Faults in the central mountain range could be activated. Actually, some of the quakes and aftershocks with magnitudes of more than five have already happened there today. Then, out at sea, there is the Ryokyu Trench, which is what we're most concerned about. There aren't any sensors there, so we don't understand it much. The trench is seen by the world as having the potential to cause a mega-thrust earthquake. The 2011 Tohoku quake in Japan and the 2004 Indian Ocean quake were both undersea megathrust earthquakes. Experts say the earthquake on Wednesday was different, caused instead by convergence of the Eurasian plate and the Philippine Sea plate. That caused a reverse fault earthquake similar to the one that hit the Noto Peninsula in Japan earlier this year. The earthquake that struck at 758 on Wednesday broke northward. So as the rupture moved north, the shaking in northern areas was stronger. Experts say that based on the 1999 Gigi earthquake, up to 10 earthquakes of magnitude 6 to 7 could strike within the next year.